Hey everybody, what's going on? Give a round for Tuto Murphy with yet another Microsoft Flight Simulator Quick Fix video. I hope this video finds you well. So in today's video, what are we going to be covering? Well, we're going to be covering something that I haven't seen covered well online thus far, so I thought I might bring it to you. And it's that of a MacDo or FMC solution using your favorite mobile device, a tablet, phone, etc to display and control certain aircraft's FMC. In this video, we're going to jump straight into it. I'm going to jump straight into a demo showing it off in action, uh, and then I'll cover what it is that I'm using, how easy it is to set up, uh, its pricing, uh, but also be sure to stick around at the end for just one more thing right at the end that I thought might interest you too. So without further ado, let's jump straight in and check it out. Here I am in the 737 cockpit, and I'll bring up a side-by-side -side view of its FMC running on a pretty old and um, battered iPad that I have here. I mentioned that as the point I'm trying to make here is that you don't need anything fancy to get this working. The latest and greatest to meet a minimum spec or anything like that. Once your device of choice has an internet browser, well, you're all set. There's no app, for example, that needs to be downloaded here on the device side. More on the setup in a moment. On the tablet, you'll notice here just how responsive it is. I'm working here on the tablet, tapping on it, and despite it being over Wi-Fi, so there's no cables needed here at all, it's pretty much immediate within my cockpit, which I absolutely love. Every button works, just as you'd expect, and the layout is identical, so nothing additional to learn here. There's nothing worse than when you have to repeatedly <laughs> bash a key for something to enter. That just leads to frustration. But none of that here. And I love that when something just works. A lot of the time, right? And I think we've all been there. You need to spend a few minutes in the FMC to program it in. Even longer if you have to manually enter a flight plan. So it's a nice little luxury being able to do it comfortably, faster than using your mouse by tapping but also being able to concentrate your attention within your PC elsewhere in, I don't know, a more efficient way, uh, perhaps such as looking at SimBrief without being back and forth with changing windows or screens. So yeah, it does what you'd expect, which I think is exactly what you would want with something like this, I think. Uh, is it complicated to get going and, and tough to get set up? Not at all. Let me show you. The product I'm using is called Avia CDU from AviaWorks, and it consists of a lightweight server utility that runs on your computer that runs Microsoft Flight Simulator. It's this app called Avia Server that your mobile device connects to via its browser. Once installed, you'll find it in your taskbar, and there's minimal enough configuration involved in this little utility. You can check your license status. You can see I have it here for the 7.3. Uh, and if you're on the fence about this or just are keen to see if it even works, you can do a tap limited demo as well, which is nice. You can actually purchase through the app as well. So there, as I say, it's about 10 euros per product family. Um, and you can then finally check out the link to where you need to go via your browser on your device in order to connect. That's really, that's all to it. At time of recording, aircraft that this will work with within the sim are the CRJ family from Aerosoft, the 737 family, by that I mean all variants from PMDG, and the Mad Dog MD-82. There's no Phoenix A320 here, unfortunately. Now, before I finish up, I did mention one last thing that might interest you that I quickly wanted to mention. And if it does, be sure to leave a comment below. Let me know what you think and if you'd like us to perhaps cover it in a future video. So AviaWorks, using the same technique as we just saw for the Mac Do, have another product, which is the Avia Overhead. Now, the name gives it away. It's an overhead panel, so you can access the overhead panel again from your mobile device of choice, making it very easy to access and use. Now, unlike the Mac Do uh, product, this is a one-off purchase per platform. So Microsoft Flight Simulator is 15 euros, which I think is better. Uh, yeah, and it's it's got all switches and dials and indicators. That bit easier uh, to be available and accessible to you via your favorite mobile device. 
So I think I just need to figure out a way for that realism factor to have it overhead, a tablet overhead to make this work. Hmm, home cockpit perhaps. Hmm. <laughs> Let me know what you think and if indeed if you'd like us to cover it some more. And folks, that's it. I really do hope you found this video useful. If you did, you might please give the thumbs button a like and even consider subscribing. Don't forget, Tuto Murphy himself streams Monday, Wednesday and Friday at 2000 Zulu live on Twitch at twitch.tv slash Murphy. And yes, I'll be back again soon. Until the next one, thanks again for watching and take care.